Hello, I'm Herb Yelly, here with a three-year-old filly we call Josie. A few weeks ago, we put up a video of her loping for the first time, probably about a month ago. Thought it might be fun to do a little update, show her advancing a bit at the lope. That is if she doesn't buck me off or run, run through the fence, which I kind of don't think she'll do. But show the progression that we have. Uh, the last time we were getting about halfway around a circle, a big circle, where we were barely really guiding her much. Her guiding has improved since then, so that she's starting to come around in the lope and keep a good, better shape. So I'm just gonna take her down here toward where that tractor's parked and cluck to her and see if she'll pick up a lope helps her to get the lead to have something in front of her. I'm gonna actually pass this tractor one time because it wasn't there yesterday. And I realized she hadn't even been by that yet. She's not real spooky about things like that, but I like to have one thing going at a time. One thing going at a time. And I'll get her down here and say, And she picks up a lope and I'm gonna steer and what I'm not doing is trying to slow her down you can see I have to cluck to keep her moving but when she moves she's kind of taking a big larrapin stride that's okay I want her going forward when you try to slow your horse down too much too soon if you find yourself getting your horse hollowed out you don't have any forward motion to collect when the time comes to collect it. But see, I'm just picking up on her, enough to steer her, but I'm not dragging on her face. Go on. Not dragging on her face. She's not used to me talking so that gone much. I'm not prying her face over and turning it into a pulling contest. Next time when we get to center, I'm just gonna let her stop. She kinda likes to stop. Ooh. And then after they stop, and she made a small effort to stop, which is fine for her stage of riding, what I like to do is let them stand for a minute. Now it's a little awkward because I stood with, stopped with my back end towards you, but I guess that's the view you're stuck with while she sits here for a minute. And what I'm gonna do is just turn her shortly, walk her around quiet, lope her to the right. Now they all have good ways and not so good ways. She's much more advanced and steers better to the left. So when we do this right circle, You'll see me having to adjust her forward and her steering. So we're gonna just walk her around here, let her relax a little bit. She's been pretty good about picking up both leads. I cluck to her to get some forward, bump her a little. There we go. You can see she's a bit more apprehensive this way. A little stiffer. Much more uncertain. But I'm still not fighting her with my hands. I'm just showing her the way. Showing her the way. I'll probably not lope her as long this way. Let's get her going forward. Whoa. Oh, it's okay. It's all right. There you go. So, if you were to say, my gosh, this thing's running off. 
Well, she's only running off if she keeps going faster. She's not accelerating, she's just carrying some speed, and particularly to the right, that's okay. As she gets to steering better, you'll see her right will slow down to match her left, and her left's gonna slow down still more as she gets more comfortable, gets more supple, gets more balance. But I think we make a mistake sometimes when we try to restrain these young horses, get them loping slower than they're ready to, let them gallop out there a little bit, let them find their own feet, let them find their own balance, and the slowdown will come as they get more naturally coordinated and collected. So that's what we're doing with her. We made some progress with the lope. It's definitely a work in progress, but I thought I'd share it with you. We'll have more on her sometime in the future. Till then.